Yeah, this is from the ICARIA trial, which led to the, the approval of isoduximab POMDEX. So, um, first, uh, the, the PFS benefit was, was very good for the, the total population. We have seen overall survival data on the total population, which is it's not significant, but it's very, very close. Then we have looked at both the frail and, and the fit, and uh, as you're referring to, how this performs in the elderly versus the young. And we see that the uh, efficacy uh, regarding PFS and OS is at, at least as good in the elderly group as it is in the younger group. So I think this speaks for the, the very good safety of this, of this combination with the C38 antibody and, and PD. Uh, and this is a really good regimen for the elderly. Uh, I think the only sort of uh, pitfall or caveat for this, for this combination is that if a patient, this is a third line regimen, uh, so if a patient receives uh, daratumumab in second line, in DRD or uh, DKD or uh, DPD, um, they are maybe not uh, expected to respond as well uh, to this regimen. So this is uh, mainly for the patients who have not received a C38 antibody from before. But now that DARA is sort of coming into first line um, and they will get the second line without the C38 antibody, I think to re-expose in third line uh, with the, this known efficacy and safety, I think that's still a very good option for the patients in third line after a non C38 line in, in, in second line, which will be more common now that the DARA RD is moving into first line.